people are vaccinated, if they get COVID, uh, the consequences of that seem to be less severe. But overcoming resistance to vaccination is turning out to be a tough nut to crack. As CMU gets ready for fall classes, it's hoping to entice students to get their shots. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. David is off. As part of its campaign to get students vaccinated, CMU is holding a series of lotteries. TV5's Trevor Sahaki explains. Though many colleges begin classes next month, only one in three of the state's college age population is fully vaccinated. I think from the students I've personally spoken to, uh, for some it is a um, matter of them believing they're healthy already or that the symptoms of COVID are really not that bad. And so even if they did get sick, uh, it would not be a very serious situation. Jennifer DeHamers is CMU's Vice President for Student Recruitment and Retention. The school is putting on a lottery to encourage vaccinations. Our goal is that we want to be able to keep the university open, keep classes in session, uh, allow students to continue to work towards whatever their goal is, and we think the best way to be able to do that is to have as healthy of a semester as we can, an academic year as we can. CMU's first of four drawings will be August 2nd. One of the prizes is a full tuition scholarship. The data are in. People who are vaccinated, if they get COVID, uh, the consequences of that seem to be less severe. And so it's really trying to get more um, people vaccinated, really. So far, about 20% of the school's population has signed up for the lottery. While CMU isn't making the COVID vaccine mandatory, Baker College is, at least for healthcare students working externally. The school telling TV5 that an increasing number of its clinical partners, including hospital systems and healthcare facilities, are requiring students to be vaccinated. Baker classes begin August 23rd. Trevor Sahaki, WNEM, TV5.